Howdy folks, thought I'd let you know what it was like for me putting a 3900 on ATX motherboard into this here fractal torrent case. I mean this thing is a monster when it comes to airflow. First off you got three really thick 140 millimeter fans at the bottom sucking in air from the bottom. It's uh, lifted up on those tall legs. It sucks up so much air that I became obsessive about dust and strapped a HEPA filter to a fan, blow fresh filtered air onto it all the time. Got a really good PSU compartment area. There's lots of room for sticking cables toward the back and keep your cable management behind the case okay. Lots of room inside the case. You got your standard seven panels on the back, take everything off. Nice legend for inside the case, show where everything should be. Mine came already with pre-installed for the ATX type board, including the center one there that the motherboard can pivot on and you can spin it around to impress all your friends. It gave some extra also if you're going to get the EATX. Lots of room on the back here with cable runs. Since I got the RGB version, all those RGB lines are together. I like this Velcro straps. It's pretty well set up. Room for four SSDs in the back. Two hard drives. You got your normal cable set up. You'd expect uh, Type-C, USB, audio. This is video from last year when we put the 3900 together. Regular 12 core processor, got 64 gigs there. It's for video editing and rendering fractal animation. So since I make fractals, it seemed right to put it into a fractal case. Now it's been a be quiet case for the last year. And the be quiet is now going to get the 5950X. So this is what we ended up with. It's a case that has got massive airflow. You got lots of room for GPU, although sadly I don't have a great GPU to show off. I had to cannibalize something from an old machine. It's got two gigabytes on it. But look at all this airflow. And there's that swale that pushes the air down from under the PSU. And the air coming in from the bottom is going to be increasing its velocity as it runs across the top of the motherboard over those VRMs. It's going to keep them cooler. It's going to cool the RAM down. It directs lots of airflow right into those fans there. I mean, this, I'll tell you, my temps went down on the motherboard, went down on the CPU. It stays really stable now. Now I keep the fans on 100% now. I figure what the heck. I just want nice cool air on my machine. And I want it to be filtered. So I don't have to be cleaning those filters every two weeks or so. Because I'm obsessive about it. So anyways, what I did was even uh, change my Be Quiet case to 9 intake fans. I'll make a video about that. They're all filtered and... Now that 5950X is staying nice and cool too. So go ahead and uh, take a look at this case. I'm going to post a link at the bottom. You can look at it through Amazon affiliate type link. It is a case I recommend. Check this airflow out. I mean, it's like I had a piece of tissue paper sitting on uh, that their counter and, and it got sucked up into the filter right just sliding along this will suck up everything on your desk so be real careful i'm thinking this could even be good sideways just lay it on its side it'll just suck in lots of air and and everything will be running really good so folks go ahead and like if you liked it subscribe check out the 5950x build we'll see you around now have a good day bye